Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. This is Shan Magaraj. We are considering our journey on safe tour. Today's topic is what is a program vision in the context of safe five. As you are aware, if you are continuing or traveling with me, you know that I am trying to discuss different components which are available as part of essential configuration currently. We are currently discussing about vision. So this is going to be my, uh, my fourth and final video on the context of vision. Let us get into the today's topic which is program vision. When using full safe or large solution safe, each art will likely to have its own vision. Detailing the direction of the specific capabilities or subsystems that it produces, this vision should be tightly coupled to the solution vision it, suppose, it supports. You need to have a roadmap view actually. If you look at that picture, you know, this, this gives you PA3, PA4 and PA5, what we are trying to achieve in each PI and what is the milestone we are trying to achieve, right? There is something, a milestone here, E3 Expo, you know, July 2023 or something, right? So having a sense of direction is critical to planning and engagement. Unless there is some realistic plan for how teams intend to fulfill the vision, people won't actually know what they must do. The purpose is filled by the roadmap, right? So that's the purpose of the roadmap. So roadmap is nothing but the sequential arrangement of program increments or grouping of PA objectives you want to achieve in a particular program increment, how, then how we are aligning with the milestones, right? Let us try to understand a little more further PA planning vision, the top 10 futures. The roadmap is indeed helpful, but for action execution, the immediate steps must be clear. The product and solution management have the responsibility to provide the direction for these next steps. In the safe context, this translates to a series of increment steps forward, one PA at a time, one future at a time. As in this picture explains to you, we need to build a program backlog spreadsheet using, you know, you can prioritize using WSJF. Maybe I'll try to put a separate video on that. And each PA objective should talk about top 10 futures we are going to achieve in that particular program increment, right? This picture talks about top 10 futures in program increment 3. To achieve these PA objectives, right? Product management constantly updates future priorities using weighted shortest job first methodology then during the pa planning they present the top 10 things to to the team the team won't be surprised by the new list as they have seen the vision evolve over the period of time and they are aware of new features that are coming on their way Further, the program Kanban is used to explore the scope of features, their benefit hypothesis and acceptance criteria. So when features reach this boundary, they are fairly well informed and vetted. Architecture and engineering would have already reviewed them and various enablers have already been implemented. However, everyone understands that top 10 is an input not an output to the planning process and what can be achieved in the next PA is subject to the capability limitations, dependencies and knowledge that emerge during the planning. 
Only the teams can plan and commit to a course of action. That's it called PA objectives. In a scrum, we call that as a sprint goal or a sprint backlog, right? These futures are ready for implementation and future by future, the program marches forward toward the accomplishment of the vision, right? So that's how the product management team helps the team to set up the PA objectives and the team commits to the PA objectives. Similarly, solution management team presents a similar 10 capabilities during the pre-PA uh, pre planning to align the art within the solution train, right? With that, we have come to the conclusion of this particular video. Hope you got a reasonable idea on what is the program vision, how it should align with the solution and portfolio vision. And it consists of roadmap, which is of series of sequential arrangement of program increments and the milestones along with that. Along with the roadmap, you need to have a PA objectives for each PI, which can be articulated as the top 10 features need to be achieved. Solution management and product management is articulating during the PA planning or pre-PA planning. Team is not surprised that they already know that because it's part of program backlog sheets. And team is finally committing these PA objectives. And you need to have a rolling wave vision briefing so that team is, is traveling with the leadership, traveling with the lean agile leaders to get the context right at every time, right? So with this video, we're completing the context of the entire context of vision within the context of safe five. So in the next video, we'll talking about, we'll be talking about roadmap. Please share your comments how the vision statements are articulated in your company. What are the different practices you do during the PA planning and you know pre-PA planning or you know, post-PA planning? How the contexts are set by the leadership? I'll be happy to see that you know it is also learning to me as well. So with that, I'm concluding this video. Uh, see you tomorrow. Please share this video with your friends so that it spreads across and it reaches many people. It will be helpful to the many people who are you know, part of their Agile journey. So with that, I'm signing off uh, for today's video. Take care. Bye-bye.